Hi, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and today I have some coral collecting to update you on. Um, I find a fair amount of coral here in Canada, and it could be because there was a, um, a coral plant in Toronto, and they continued manufacturing after uh, coral in the U.S. closed in um, 1979. Now, they didn't manufacture that much longer, I think another 10 or 12 years. But anyway, I've uh, been collecting coral, and I've been making an effort to purchase from uh, a variety of people who have coral to offer, so I thought I'd show you some pieces today. First, I have this lovely gold tone pin with rhinestones and faux pearls and uh, nice and shiny not much wear it doesn't uh, show up quite as well in uh, my camera as I would like but it's a very pretty piece um, and like most coral brooches it's signed here um, on the back of the pin so this just needs a little wash and uh, it's ready to wear and then I have this pair of Coro um, clip earrings. Um, a nice general style. I don't know what you would call those. They're uh, they're not centipedes. They got too big a feet. Um, but they're lovely gold tone. You could wear them with anything. And they're marked here on the back of the clip again. I did uh, buy a book from uh, Schiffer, the Schiffer publisher, about collect identifying and collecting Coro, and I was extremely disappointed in it, considering the price. Um, many of the pictures are fuzzy. There's no dating, so it it, it talks about the you know the Coro uh, lines, the different uh, you know Vendome and Coro and Coro Craft and and so on, but it doesn't date pieces. Um, I, I was extremely disappointed, and it, it's totally useless as far as I'm concerned in terms of uh, a collecting book. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be collecting, uh, trying to find sets of coral because that book isn't any help. But um, this necklace, this choker necklace, is absolutely beautiful. It has, um, uh, you can see, uh, both dark and light, a dark or orange, and then light orange or, or yellow uh, rhinestones alternating all the way around. And it is signed on the back, now that I've got it stuck to the table, um, just behind one of these um, sections here, there's the copyright, and then... <laughs> The name, if, you can, if I can get it in the camera here, so copy right up here, and the name Coro is down in here by my finger. So very difficult to see the name, but a beautiful piece. Off. There we go. Um, what else have I got? It's been a little while since I purchased this, and I've forgotten... Um, the provenance, but again, it came from a, a seller in the States, and on the back of the earrings here, it, sorry, on the back of the earrings here, it says coral, um, beautiful striped um, cabochons in the earrings, just gorgeous. And it comes with this um, necklace with a heavy chain and a very substantial uh, pendant and I'm wondering if this stone here should be one of these striped um, cabochons I didn't think of it at the time but now that I'm looking at it again I'm wondering so I'll have to see if I can find an equivalent online um, certainly when I purchased it, nothing was mentioned about this not being an original stone. And it fits there fine. Uh, it's just hmm, not quite the right thing. 
for this particular piece. Um, the uh, next set that I'd like to show you, um, this was the, a key piece um, that uh, I guess Linda Musaro was, uh, was offering. It's this amazing sort of cornflower blue um, screwback earrings with these uh, unusual um, wide rectangular navettes marked on the back of the screw back of the earring in beautiful, beautiful condition and the matching brooch to go with them. I haven't been able to find this piece for sale online at all and I just recently got my coral book so I haven't looked it up but this is just a stunner of a set. And the brooch is heavily plated on the back but underneath the pin you can barely make out that it is uh, signed right up under there. I'm not sure if I tilt it, you'll see it a little better. Maybe if I had a pointer. Let's see. So right under there, it's uh, signed. Uh, she offered a group, and I said, I want the blue set, and I want these red earrings. Um, and uh, love these red with the Aurora Borealis on them and the uh, shiny sort of watery red cabochons just beautiful um, this is uh, the way you wear them is actually sort of like was is like this I got them upside down so that's how you would wear them and they are signed uh, again on the back of the earring She uh, said, uh, I'll send you the whole lot because I said, okay, there's, you know, three pieces that I really like. Um, the third one was this pin. Um, a nice simple pearl pin, uh, pearl enhanced gold tone pin. And I have a few pins of this style. Uh, signed Coro in the usual spot right under my fingernail here on the uh, the pin back um, in excellent condition has, needs a little tiny bit of cleaning around this one particular pearl and a little bit on the side of the center pearl but I think uh, um, a little bit of uh, soapy water that'll come off they're not they're faux pearls so they're not going to be uh, affected by soap and water so I, those are the three pieces I really liked and so she um, gave me one price for everything and so the other three things that I received as part of that was this necklace oh I guess I'm not far enough back there we go so there's the pendant of the necklace it's a flat chain And uh, full of uh, lovely uh, rhine uh, baguette rhinestones. There's one missing in the center here, but I have some spares, and I have been uh, learning how to um, restore um, rhinestones in jewelry, so that should be a pretty straightforward repair. I'm not sure if there's something missing from the end there, but I'll I'll try to find out. And with that necklace then, let's see if I can get it more in frame, there we go. With that necklace were the matching earrings. And they go this way so that the bow, I got them right, oh, there we go, this way. <laughs> so that the bow is up. And it's lovely that there's a left and a right design to the earrings. Just on a sign of quality. 
and all the rhinestones and uh, baguettes are there. Another set, and this set um, was probably my least favorite of the bunch. And this is the one that seems to sell for the highest price online, I'm surprised. But it is um, pretty glitzy. The beautiful Aurora Borealis rhinestones in the center of a good size. You can see, you know, in relation to my thumb, how big those earrings are. Nice clip back earrings. Um, and then the choker necklace that goes with it. Um, whoops, and of course it always goes the wrong way around. So you can see um, the beautiful rhinestones um, and the color in the necklace. Now you'd, if you didn't know what you were looking for, you'd have a hard time finding that this was a marked Coro piece. And I'll, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to show up at all, but it's marked just above my fingernail there. It's so tiny and there's so much texture on the back of that first um, piece that you would miss it, I think, if you were uh, looking for the marking. But it also has the, um, the one of the typical Coro dangles. So here you can see this is the, the last piece I just showed and this is the um, one of the previous pieces with the orange stones so that it has that matching dangle. And it's quite useful um, to know what the dangles may look like. Coro used more than one, but uh, um, they're sometimes helpful in identifying pieces that where it's not obvious where they're marked. And the final piece, excuse me, the final piece um, I have is this lovely brooch. And I think I purchased this on my own. I don't think it came in a lot, but I, I've forgotten, I guess. Um, it's marked here on the back above the bar of the brooch. Um, it may be missing a pearl in the center here. I know it's missing a little rhinestone over here. There's a little black spot, but I have... A rhinestone that'll fit in there to uh, restore that and I'm sure that I uh, can find a pearl and uh, then that will be complete so a little different uh, type of uh, design for for coral than what I'm used to probably a new uh, you know a much newer piece than some of these ones that are, are on the table but uh, lovely in itself and that's makes quite a, a an amazing uh, collection of coral pieces. Hope you enjoyed uh, my coral video and uh, I'll let you know if I managed to identify any of these sets. Um, and if you have any uh, suggestions about better resources for identifying uh, ages and sets of coral jewelry, um, I've, you know, gone through all the online resources I can find and uh, I thought some of the books would be helpful but I was so disappointed with the first book I purchased I'm not sure that uh, whether I should try to purchase any more um, you know always weighing in the balance if you buy a book you can't use that money to buy jewelry